Welcome to the Inspire and Learn series. We are the Multihull Group, a multi-award winning dealership in Australia, specialising in catamarans. Join us as our expert team teach you all about anchoring, docking, rigging, sail trim, maintenance, and so much more, so you can build confidence in your catamaran handling ability. In this episode, we are joined by a rigging specialist to explain how they set up the rig, differences between catamarans and monohulls, and advantages of Lagoon's new rig design. Today, uh, we're very lucky to be joined by Dion Hart from Pacific Rigging, based on Sydney Harbour. Dion's a veteran of the industry and a rigger that we trust and use. So Dion's works on racing yachts, a lot of new boat commissions, so when the rigs come in, um, he puts them together. Uh, when, when a new lagoon arrives in Australia, he's involved in stepping the mast, uh, dressing the mast, putting it in, tuning it, and then following on from that, looking after owners in the maintenance and rig checks ongoing. Start at the beginning. Um, when a rig is first set up in a boat, what, what would you do to, I guess, the initial tune and, and check of the rig when it's first put in? Yeah, well, John, when we put a new boat together, um, the mast comes in a kit form where we, we attach all the rigging and the spreaders and um, make the furler. Uh, the, the rig manufacturers give us uh, an indication of the tensions that should be applied to all the stays that support the mast. Yeah, our job is to, um, to put the mast into the yacht with the, with the crane and secure it and make sure all the tensions are adequate to, to support the mast. First thing we're going to talk about is a general introduction to the, the catamaran rig. A lot of our owners, Dion, come from monohulls, as you know, so perhaps what are some of the, the differences um, for somebody coming from a monohull to then sailing on a, on a catamaran in terms of the rigging? Well, the major difference between a catamaran mast and a, um, a monohull mast is that they're pretty well supported by a tripod. The main thing that holds the, the rigging up is the forestay and the two cap shrouds that come down to the side of the hull. Um, with the catamaran being such a wide, wide boat as opposed to a monohull, then they're not requiring backstay to hold the mast up. Now the, the major support on the catamaran mast, as I said, is the three stays that hold it up in a triangle. And then they also, unlike a, mon, a monohull, they have a set of diamonds which is there to designed to put pre-bend into the mast and it also stops the mast compressing and, um, and moving forward. So they're the major differences. Uh, a catamaran mast is also much more heavily rigged than what a monohull will be uh, due to the obviously the increased in riding moment that the, the catamaran has over a monohull. Can you just explain that? So why, are they, why, is, it, why is it heavier rigging? Well, because there's a, the loads on board a, a catamaran are much, much higher than on a multi -hull, on a monohull. A monohull will lean over and depower, whereas the catamaran, particularly a cruising catamaran, uh, won't fly a hull, and won't depower the sails. And, so, and what does that mean in terms of? So, how do we get a feel of when to when to change sails? How do we how do we do that? Well, obviously experience, yeah. but. Uh, as your owners would know, when you get your new boats, they have a very comprehensive lagoon owner's manual on board. And if you look in the rigging section of that, it has a very, very clear description on the wind ranges and when you should be considering putting reefs in. Perfect, good advice. On the, on the rig itself, VPLP have brought to the table and introduced with all the new generation lagoons um, a different rig setup, so the mast further aft, Shorter boom, as you know, and a taller mast. Yep. With that self-tacking head. So, what, what sort of, what are the reasons you think that they've, they've brought this about, and, and is it something that you think is a, is a positive, or what, are there any negatives around it? The positives are um, the design's been instigated for ease of handling. Um, with the shorter boom, it's uh, a lot easier to get your mainsail back into the boom bag when you when you're dropping it or raising it. Um, the fact that the mast is further back in the boat. Is going to give the boat less of a pitching motion so it will it will sail a little bit better um, obviously the the, the the big ease of handling difference is the self tacker 
um, which as we all know is a, you know, something that makes sailing, especially short-handed, much, much easier. There's also, with the taller mast, the mainsail's got a bigger roach, big, big square top on there, which is another advantage of what we spoke earlier about the difference in rigs between multi-hulls and monohulls, because because we don't have a backstay on this style of rig, because the spread, it's the, the stays go so far down towards the back of the boat, it enables you to have a bigger mainsail on the top. Thank you, Dion, thanks for that. It's a good insight into the general rig setup and the differences within a catamaran. So I appreciate that very much. Pleasure. If you enjoyed this bonus episode, please give it a like and subscribe. In the next episode, professional sail GP and America's Cup sailor, Sam Newton joins us to discuss sail tactics, trimming, and lots more. See you then.